More hypocrisy, less democracy. I'm SC Cup. Welcome to Unfiltered. It's one of the five pillars of the First Amendment, freedom of assembly. This guarantees our right to peacefully gather in protest, even if it's against the government. And that's exactly what three Democratic House lawmakers in Tennessee did last week, using a bullhorn on the House floor as they led a protest calling for more gun control in the wake of a deadly Nashville school shooting. This, of course, is protected speech, but Republicans are taking steps to expel these three Democratic state reps from state government altogether for breaking a House rule by speaking out of turn. A vote is expected later this week. Tennessee Republican House leadership called this act an insurrection, laughably. The Tennessee Black Caucus of State legislators called the efforts morally bankrupt. Democratic Rep. Sam McKenzie said the Republican House Speaker should be leading bipartisan discussions to generate reforms that could stop the next school shooting instead of using his power to silence people who are calling for solutions that he opposes. This protest was peaceful and purposeful, which makes the Republican freak out all the more absurd, considering the actual violent insurrection at the U.S. Capitol in 2021, which many a Republican has defended and dismissed. Fox News host Tucker Carlson, you'll remember, called the insurrection an effort to unlawfully overturn a Democratic election that led to multiple deaths and injuries, mostly peaceful, and characterized the violent mob that broke into the Capitol building as sightseers. The Republican Party, you'll remember, declared the insurrection an example of legitimate political discourse and censured two Republicans who participated in the congressional inquiry into the events of that day. One Republican lawmaker even said the rioters were on a normal tourist visit. Another accused the Justice Department of harassing peaceful patriots across the country for filing charges against hundreds of Trump supporters who stormed the Capitol. So if you're following along, the the violent and unlawful insurrection was totally fine, no big deal. And those protesters are patriots who should be left alone. But the three Democratic lawmakers who briefly protested in action on gun control, a protest that led to zero violence and wasn't an attempted crime, well, that's unacceptable, and those lawmakers should lose their jobs. Of course, it's insanity, but just another example of the GOP attacking democracy. They haven't been able to convince a majority of voters to support their far-right extreme agenda, so instead they want to make it harder to vote harder to protest, harder to access information. It's ham-fisted and hypocritical, but it's also chilling. Where are the good conservatives who know better? Where is the Republican opposition to these silencing efforts that reek of authoritarianism? Is there anyone left on the right to call this stuff out? That's it for me. See you next week.